Hi, I'm Keith Silverstein. I play the English voice for Hisoka in Hunter x Hunter. All of the cards have been dealt. You can't decide in advance how to take down the last enemy. You don't win the game by choosing your cards, but by knowing the best way to utilize what's in your hand. There's almost always something heightened going on. I mean, the, the whole series, Hunter x Hunter, is very epic. There's, there's one thing, and then there's another thing, and then another thing. Uh, so it's always pretty heightened, but I don't know how heightened it was for Hisoka in this situation. Uh, it seems like he would be nowhere else but at the you know, Heaven's Arena tournament, either competing or you know, sizing up the other competition. So I, I don't know if the stakes were any higher for him in this particular situation. It feels like he was just kind of along for the ride. Yeah, yeah, that would make sense. If he has, when he has something personal involved, for, the stakes are a little bit higher for him, I think. Although, the only personal thing I think he had in, in this situation was just kind of making sure that uh, Gon and Kilua were okay, you know, that they, that they survived through all of this. It was, it's nice for him to show his face. I think when you, you hear that familiar voice and... Uh, you know that he's there. It, it always adds a little bit of mystery and intrigue to what's already happening in the plot. Uh, it made perfect sense because you have this big tournament going on and Hisoka's always looking for some type of excitement. Uh, so he, I don't think, would be anywhere else unless there was something incredibly exciting going on somewhere else on the globe, so. Oh, I, I would uh, definitely think he's happy with the, the progress that the boys have made. Um, he showed interest early on in the series in Gon and Kilua, and um, I don't think that's changed. I mean, they have uh, been training very hard. They've been through multiple scenarios and different different teachers at this point. So I think it's um, I think it's just kind of natural that he would check up on them every now and then and see because he's definitely interested in the future with both of them. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, it definitely did. Um, I think he had used his bungee gum more than likely before the original Heaven's Arena battle with Gon, but um, he hadn't explained it. So uh, I didn't know anything about it until he explained what he was doing. Uh, so naturally, whenever I see him use that now, I flash back to that, because that's a pretty... Uh, that battle was very intense, and we find out a lot about Hisoka during that battle. I mean, about his personality and, uh, and also about how he does some of the things he does, so... Yeah, I definitely thought back on that. Hello there. Well, it could be that. I think one of the interesting things about Hisoka is uh, we don't actually know how powerful he is. Um, we get hints. Uh, he's usually pretty confident. There are a few occasions where, you know, we hear his inner thoughts and he's struggling a little bit. But um, I don't know if we've ever seen him, like, go all out. Um, so we don't know what floor he was battling at the first time he was in the arena. It could also be a not-so-subtle uh, hint as to where Karapika is. If he's on 245 at this point, he's definitely grown stronger. I'd like to think Hisoka has grown stronger, but uh, I don't know. Maybe he's already maxed out. Welcome. Why did you call me? This year's contestants are all thoroughly disappointing. I was getting bored. You asked me here just to kill time, then? Well, it sounds to me like anyone could potentially tap into this power, uh, if you have a grudge that's strong enough. I don't think Hisoka does. Now, I could be wrong. I have not watched ahead in the series or read ahead in the manga or anything. So, um, I don't know for sure. But he doesn't seem like the type that would really hold a grudge. I think if he were challenged or beaten, he would just be motivated to um, regain his throne, to uh, rematch, to grow stronger. But I don't know that he would hold it against someone. But if he did, I mean, I don't see why he couldn't fall, you know, into that same, you know, own thing just like others can. So, I mean, it's possible. I just don't think I've seen anything happen in the series yet that he would hold a grudge against. I mean, a real grudge.
I'm sure it does. I personally, I don't have a fear of clowns. And when I watch Hisoka in the series, I relate with him because I'm voicing him. So if that makes sense. So I never look at him as, you know, an antagonist or an enemy towards me. He's, he's me in a sense when I'm watching, if that makes sense. So uh, he doesn't usually freak me out. I, I more smile. Like if he's being scary, it's like, oh yeah, cool. As opposed to like, oh crap, he's coming at me. Um, in real life, if I saw somebody dressed like that, who spoke in that low of a tone, that confidently and that flamboyantly, uh, with all that confidence, I, it would really freak me out. In real life, when I watch the anime, you know, he's a really cool character. I don't know how freaked out I get, but I, I enjoy the mystery and I enjoy, you know, not knowing what he's going to do in any given moment. So I'm sure for some people, though, it, uh, Erica taps into their fears. I think it's funny to think that he's like is absolutely horrible at playing cards. Like he just has no ability to play with the cards. That's uh but who who can't play cards? There are so many different card games. I mean, maybe poker's not his thing, uh, but he's great at uh, old maid or or uh, spades or uh, you know gin rummy or something, right? Speed, right? Everybody and and who's bad at war, right? I mean, at least anybody can play war. I would assume he's probably pretty good at cards. Hell no, no, no. I, I, I mean, I'd love to be trained. I mean, it would be great. I guess I'd have to be trained and see how, how confident I got, but I'm not a fighter at all. So I am so the opposite of Hisoka. He loves to fight. He, he, he apparently, he loves to hurt people. He loves, I mean, he's got this vibe within him, which is the exact opposite of me. So uh, and then to protect myself, to protect my family, or just because it's cool would be great. I can't imagine trying to battle. I mean, even floor one, I would be petrified. I mean, there's no way. Mm -mm. On a one to 10, how scary is he? He's not a 10 because he's not a constant threat. He's very patient and he has ulterior motives a lot of the time. So it's not like a shark or, or I, I guess a crocodile would be a good example. Like if you're in the water with a crocodile, there's like, that's it. It's coming for you. You're dead. Uh, whereas a shark's going to circle around you. Maybe they're not hungry. Maybe they're scared. Maybe they're not interested in you at all. Um, so to me, that's, that's less scary because you've got a chance with him. You might have a really good conversation with Hisoka and walk away unscathed. Totally fine. Um, I give him maybe a seven. Maybe a seven because you know that potential is there. And he's taken some people out really quickly like and out of nowhere. So, I mean, you can bump into him and lose an arm. So, I mean, that's, you gotta be at least a little scared. You gotta be at least a seven scared. You didn't say Korapika's chains? I, didn't, I don't get the choice of the chains. The chains would be cool because you only see them when he wants you to see them. And I kind of like that. Just having to lug a, a weapon around, like having to walk around everywhere with a fishing pole, it's pretty, that's a, you know. I mean, it works in Hunter Hunter, but in the real world, you know, you'd have to explain to everybody why you're carrying around a fishing pole all the time. I think I would choose the cards. I mean, I, I, I really would. Whether I was voicing Hisoka or not, um, that's just cool. It's always cool when you just, you know, playing cards. I mean, come on. That's, that's, that's badass. There's something stylistic about the cards that does make them cool. Ninja Stars are, are rigid. They obviously have one purpose. It's hard to explain them away if you just have them in your pocket. Uh, your jacket pocket or what have you. But playing cards are so innocent. I mean, you could spend all day throwing playing cards at me and you'd never hurt me. So the idea that somebody can throw them just right or use Nen or use another ability to, to make them actually kill is, I don't know, it's pretty, there's something about that. It's just very cool too. For all the fans watching the movie, I hope you enjoy it. Um, I'm always a fan of the films because the animation has always stepped up just a little bit. And, and I'm a huge fan of the Hunter x Hunter series, and I've been enjoying it a lot. I personally, at this point, have not seen it yet. So while you're watching this right now, me talking to you and watching this film, I'm probably somewhere else watching it too because I just got the Blu-ray myself. So let's, let's enjoy it together, shall we?